Weiner University School of Engineering um, recently purchased a ProJet 1000 uh, 3D Systems printer. And we use this in two different areas. One of the areas that we use this is in student teaching. Students in drawing classes and design classes in mechanical engineering and civil engineering, even in chemical engineering, uh, can produce their own designs via the 3D printer. It's a, a system that is used out in the commercial world. Uh, it's very popular at this time for rapid prototyping. The other area, in addition to those majors, where it's become almost common is in the area of biomedical engineering. So the development of a ball socket for the hip joint to making an artificial heart to see the fluid flow through it can all be done on the 3D printer. The other area, in addition to teaching and the students use, is for research. The biggest advantage of having the 3D printer would have to be how quickly you can go from a digital design to an actual working prototype. It requires no outside source to actually produce it. You simply design your file and have it printed right there in front of you. This is a typical class that almost every engineering student takes, especially at an ABET accredited school like Widener. The purpose is that engineering graphics is the form of communication for engineers. Whether they're communicating with a customer or a client, whether they're communicating with the shop, or they're communicating with the factory floor that's overseas and going to produce their product. So they learn how to draft and draw, both in a conceptual sketch, freehand sketch, and then in a CAD drawing scenario. The first project was an individual project where they designed a cell phone of their choosing or improved their own cell phone. And the second one was where they worked in teams and designed an airplane. So today the students actually received their plastic 3D printed planes that they previously designed in AutoCAD. Uh, they were to assemble the pieces and then we also were to test them in the wind tunnel, measuring lift versus drag at different angles to see which plane worked the best. We had a little competition and chose the winners of the most uh, successful design and the best calculations. This showed them that good communications via engineering drawing actually has meaning because the technician had to print, read their documents to come up with their final product. They were able to see that different shapes, sizes, and thicknesses of wings had a huge difference on how much lift they would get, and uh, I think they were able to see which designs worked a lot better. This course introduces them to engineering both as an academic endeavor and also as an occupation going forward in their lives. I think a big thing is that it's pretty neat uh, in high school they were able to design a part and have it 3D printed. I know when I was in high school or even college that if we had a 3D printer it would have been an awesome tool to have at our disposal.